guys, it's Shelby, and I'm back today to torture myself again by reacting to some wasteful TikToks for you. I've gotten so many comments on this series that you guys really, really like it, so I'm happy to do it because I find little learning lessons in all of these TikToks. It gives me more ideas of how to teach sustainability, how to talk about the problems with our wasteful culture, and how we can be better. So I'm excited to react to these, but also like, it gets a little bit exhausting after a while. Hurts my heart a little bit, you know what I mean? But anyway, if you've never seen another video in this series, I'll have it linked below, and that might mean that you're new here, so you should hit the subscribe button. I usually get my partner to go through the ones that you've tagged me in on TikTok and round them up so that I can react to them, so I have not seen them yet, but she has picked out the ones that she thinks are the best. But we're going to hop right into it after I give a big thank you to today's sponsor, which is Audible. If you don't know what Audible is, they are the leader in spoken word entertainment, and I say it like that because they do much more than Audible audiobooks now, which we'll be talking about in a little bit, but if you want to jump ahead, I'll leave a link in the top of the description, and you can get one month free to Audible if you want to use the code SHELBY or text SHELBY to 500, 500 But like I said, we'll take a break, just a little mental health break, in the middle of watching all these wasteful TikToks to talk a little bit more about my audiobook recommendation this month. But without further ado, let's get into these. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Huh? Well. That's a real bitch move there. Oh, that made me almost want to cry. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know what's going down. <laughs> oh. Okay. Happy birthday. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. What the hell is even that? I don't know. This is really weird. Also, did they put glitter on it? It looks like they put glitter on this. You cannot eat glitter. It's plastic. I mean, just what a shitty thing to do. I hate balloons. I'm sure many of you know. I think they're incredibly wasteful. And something that I find myself saying a lot in these reacting to wasteful TikTok videos that you tag me in, it's just like... Get more creative. Boom, roasted. How often are things like this happening just to get like a couple seconds of laughter? I don't know, this just isn't my thing. It wasn't the best one to react to. Don't have a lot of things to say about this one, just like, we're gonna move on. So I'm assuming that this is like her ex's clothes that he left at her house and she's filling the box with his clothes but covering them in glitter. Fun. This might be big enough that our filtering systems could catch it, but glitter is literally plastic. So probably likely what will happen here is they'll put their clothes into the washer to clean the glitter off of them and then um, it will end up in our water system. And whether or not they're able to filter it out or not so that it doesn't make it to the ocean and start making its way up the food chain because that's what microplastics do. This is just a silly thing to do, but I, I get why someone would make this TikTok because they thought it was revengeful or funny or whatever, but obviously I fucking hate glitter, so don't buy glitter. This is something we could talk about, and maybe some of you have better experience in this than I do because I've never worked at a donut shop. I don't, I don't know what it's like, um, but I know that a lot of places like this who make foods for only one part of the day um, and they don't stay really fresh until the next day, a lot of times things like this get thrown out. So what this is is literally a Dunkin' Donuts place. They're throwing out all the donuts that they have before they close. A lot of local donut shops do this where they basically sell their things that were going to go bad that they can no longer sell for the next day as day old donuts. Let me know if any of you guys have seen this. And my uncle, my or my aunt's boyfriend, whatever you want to call it, he used to go and buy them like on a normal basis. So he would go and buy them. They're not quite as fresh, if you will, but they're still good, right? So I think two things that we could do here. Number one would be to support our local donut shops more than the big ones because implementing practices like that on a bigger basis is a little bit harder to do to train whatever 
whatever employee is closing to figure out a place to store them, to figure out how to package them, to figure out how to sell. There's a lot of moving parts to that on a massive scale when you talk about something as big as Dunkin' Donuts. Maybe support a more local shop that actually does this. And also because I was going to recommend that we ask Dunkin' Donuts to implement a program like that to reduce their waste. It's much harder to reach on a corporate level when a company is as big as Dunkin' Donuts to actually get them to implement change. Whereas if your local donut store is doing something like this, you can make that recommendation and they're probably a lot more likely to implement it. Also, I just wanna say a couple things on why they don't donate it, which is just another obvious solution. It takes time, resources, and money to train someone to do it, to get someone to pick it up, to take it there, etc. In the US specifically, there is a law that uh, you cannot be held liable for the conditions of food that you donate. So that is not a problem for big businesses like this. You cannot be sued for the state of the food that you donate. It's called like Bill Emerson's uh, Samaritan Act or something, Bill Clinton passed it. I'll put it on the screen here. But a lot of times it comes down to the one simple answer, which is money. And in business terms, time is also money. And what I find interesting is if more people were exposing stuff like this, like when I used to dumpster dive, that was my purpose was to expose things that are happening like this. Then we can make it more viral and we can hold them accountable for the shit that they're doing. So never fail to share things like this video, uh, like a clip from this video on your story and tag them so that they understand the problem and that we want a solution because their waste problem inevitably becomes the whole world's waste problem. Also like composting, they're clearly putting this in a plastic bag. Can we at least implement composting Dunkin' Donuts? Okay, okay, okay. I don't think I have to tell you if you're watching this video that we cannot solve global warming or climate change um, by putting ice in our backyards and he knows this or whoever made this TikTok, they know this. They're just trying to be funny. I don't think it's very funny. Boom, roasted. I wouldn't say they're wasting the ice because they're just putting it in their yard and then obviously evaporation can take <laughs> the water and like the natural water cycle can occur. Ice can't solve global warming or climate change. We need to reduce carbon emissions. I, what was that? This one, she's very clearly standing out in the grass. No way she's going to be able to get all of that glitter out of the grass. When it rains, the water can carry that glitter into the storm drains, into the ocean. That's how ecosystems work, you guys. Like the waste that we put out into the environment, the natural systems take that waste and they move it towards the ocean. That's what happens here. But my concern with this also becomes when something like this is shiny in the grass, does that attract different sort of insects or different sort of birds that could end up eating plastic that stays inside their system, which obviously really harms your digestive system and your body overall. I'm noticing a trend today of having a lot of glitter TikToks, and I don't think I have to tell most of you watching this that glitter, in many cases, is a literal microplastic. It's so small. The glitter ones make me a little shaky. I'm like a little bit like this, because the name of this account is Say Satisfying, and I just say, unsatisfying. I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied. If I was a customer, I'd turn into a Karen and tell you I'm not satisfied here. Well, the glitter has gotten to me. It's gotten to my little noggin. So let's just take a break to talk about today's sponsor, which is Audible. And last month, I recommended that you guys listen to Atomic Habits. I am not done with that one yet. So I wanted to recommend it again because it's what I'm listening to this month. And what I've gotten through already, I've really, really enjoyed. And a lot of you told me in the comments when I recommended this audiobook that you really liked it too. So if you're into creating new good habits for the new year, this is a good one to check out. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I don't like reading physical books, but I prefer listening to audiobooks. And you'll know I've been a fan of Audible for a long time. So you know that if you use my link in the description, audible.com slash Shelby, or text Shelby to 500, 500, you get one free audiobook and a 30 day free trial to Audible. But now Audible has this special new feature that I wanted to tell you about because I've never talked about it before. So Audible Plus is their new feature. And basically what it is, is a way to connect you to tons of content that entertains, inspires, and informs 
platforms. You'll get access to the Plus catalog. It's filled with thousands of titles across different formats like audiobooks, obviously, to popular and exclusive podcasts to unique Audible originals like words and music series. I've been a big fan of Audible as a user for a very long time, so I'm always happy to recommend it to you guys. So if you want to get 30 days free to Audible's membership and one free audiobook, like I say, audible.com slash Shelby, and the link is also at the top of the description. <sighs> Was that good? Was that enough of a break? Maybe I should just start listening to Atomic Habits. That put me in a better mindset. Okay, I'm confused. I just gotta look this guy up because that TikTok was really strange and his name is the water bottle guy. Oh, it gets worse. No, no, no. This is not funny. Okay, let me explain something to you. I know that not everyone's drinking water is safe all across the world. I am completely aware of that. But what I do want to say is that in the US specifically, there are small instances of issues with drinking water, but the way drinking water is regulated in the United States is through the EPA, which has quite strict water standards, okay? When I used to work with the city of College Station, I worked with the Office of Sustainability in College Station. We knew that we tested the water 90 times a day for health and humans, you know what I mean? EPA does not regulate what water goes into bottles, only the FDA does that. And they have a lot less strict standards than the EPA. You have literally been sold a myth that the water that comes in a plastic bottle is safer for you than drinking out of your tap. Knowing about our plastic pollution crisis, adding to it in this way is just not, it's not cool, you know? Why wash a bowl when you can clean wrap it first, then make brownies without the mess? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is not good. The comments. <sighs> yeah, sorry, some of us care about the environment. Someone says, y'all crying about the environment, yet yesterday you threw away your disposable vapes. No. Sorry, that was frustrating. Should I do a video of just reacting to people's comments about how the environment is pointless to protect? There is a lot of gatekeeping in the environmental movement and uh, in all different forms, so many different forms. And I think that it is messed up to think that any of us are perfect and therefore not allowed to speak on things that we think are wasteful or not allowed to give advice uh, regardless, you know? I, I hesitate because as someone on the internet, I know what it feels like to be nitpicked about everything you do, but I think at some point it is uh, constructive criticism to tell someone that what they're doing is incredibly wasteful. I'm sure you, like me, are fed up of all the plastic bags in the house, so let's get rid of them. Put them in the sink, add hot water, fair liquid, vinegar and baking powder, leave for four hours, and they will disappear. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Plastics do not break down with baking soda, or literally we would have solved all of the world's plastic problems. He says to put baking soda and vinegar, which turns into water. When th those two chemically react, they become water. So I don't even think that there would be any change in what would happen here. And if anybody's trying this, then it would literally be in their sink and then they would probably wash it down their drain. That's plastic. Okay. God. Uh, maybe this was just a joke, but I know that actually a lot of people do this. Also, I'm a little concerned because it looks like she has two trash cans there and one of them is meant to be recycling. And it looks like there's thin plastic in there and then she's throwing recyclable plastic in the trash without composting any of the food. And food waste is one of the biggest contributors to greenhouse gases when we're talking about specifically landfills because as it breaks down improperly, it releases methane, which is a greenhouse gas that's like 20 times more powerful than carbon. Um, yeah, obviously don't do this. <laughs> If you're not gonna eat the food, it would be better to just not buy food to try to like be conscious of what you're buying and what's going to happen to it afterwards. Um, but also the fact that all of this was grown and then not even consumed and then just thrown away. There's a lot of wasted resources within that process as well. Um, and in this case, at least compost your food scraps. Find maybe there's a drop off in your area. Obviously composting is really important and we don't wanna see this type of thing happening. 
Obviously, one of my problems with the TikToks that you guys tag me in is people being incredibly wasteful for just a few seconds of laughter. And then what's interesting is judging by the comments, people don't even really like what you're doing. But more so, I just wanna say that I get a lot of comments when I make these videos about how awful TikTok is, and that's why you personally would never be on the app. And I just wanna say that obviously I'm on the app and my algorithm, my For You page is not full of people doing anything like this. There is a community for nearly anything you could be interested in on TikTok. So I wouldn't let that be the reason that you steer away from the app itself. Uh, so follow me if you want. And I'll also be doing uh, sharing my likes, my TikTok likes on my secret video list, which is what I did last. Oh. <laughs> I did that last time I did one of these videos to kind of contrast the terrible wastefulness of it. I shared my favorites and my likes because there are some really good ones over there too. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you learned something new. Also, don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Audible, if you're interested. The link is at the top of the description. And remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye, guys. Also, maybe check out uh, another episode in the series.